To make serious money in digital marketing, you need to expand to multiple accounts and regions. But as you expand, you'll face a ton of problems like getting banned or restricted. I once had a client's Facebook account permanently shut down just because I was working from Indonesia. One of my YouTube channels was terminated because I had posted affiliate links in the comments rather than the description. This put all five of my channels into jeopardy. When I was in Europe, I couldn't access an account I had just paid for because NordVPN was blocked. My assistant in the Philippines always has login complications. And my Facebook page was restricted because of a single case of poor copywriting. Limiting yourself to just one account and region is extremely risky. If you run an Amazon store, your entire business could disappear overnight. The simple answer to all these growing pains is multi-login. It's an anti-detect browser, which is far more powerful than a VPN and very easy to use. It offers browser windows that hide your identity and your location. You can assign staff to these browsers to collaborate on different accounts for eBay, Reddit, Facebook, review sites, TikTok, etc. You can grow your team without compromising passwords. You can run AI automations for filling forms and registrations, extracting data, and bypassing CAPTCHAs. This is how you run thousands of accounts simultaneously and grow a virtual empire. It works for e-commerce, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, crypto farming, betting, market research, reputation management, social media marketing, YouTube, TikTok, ticket purchases, SEO, etc. One of my businesses is affiliate marketing for hotels. My main marketing channel is TikTok. Now, the challenge with TikTok is that the algorithm is very localized. When I post a video in Peru, TikTok shows it to Peruvians, even if they're not the target audience. I use multi-login to fix this. This is a video reviewing the Hilton Hotel in Manila. I use my Filipino login profile because the target customers are Filipinos and they have the highest social media engagement in the world. If I had posted this without multi-login, I would not have gotten a thousand likes. It's less relevant to people in Switzerland and they don't engage as much. So multi-login opens up a bunch of arbitrage opportunities where I can get a lot of engagement cheaply by targeting certain regions. It also lets me target the right buyers without geo restrictions. Now, if you're promoting something like this Euro trip video, I would post it using a different multi-login profile for somewhere like Germany. A quick search on ChatGPT shows that Germany is the top source of tourists for Switzerland. Since I also get affiliate revenue from promoting US credit cards, I can create another profile in the US to generate multiple streams of income. It's also useful to have multiple TikTok accounts for different niches. For example, I have one account for travel content and another for marketing education. I know some top YouTube creators with millions of subscribers. They went so far as to rent an apartment with a separate internet connection just to keep their accounts separated. Multi-login allows you to mimic all of this from a single computer using residential proxies. When I worked in Silicon Valley, I had a lot of data on the most successful e-commerce sellers. One trend I noticed was that the largest sellers tended to sell through Amazon. And their biggest fear? Amazon itself. In one split second, their entire business could be shut down by Amazon. But imagine if you had five different Amazon seller accounts, each tied to a different multi-login profile. If your furniture store gets shut down, you'll still have revenue from baby products, electronics, and so on. And your stores in the UK, France, and US could all be opened and managed by teams in Asia without arousing suspicion. This also works for eBay and Shopify. One emerging business opportunity is AI-generated influencers. You can see an example of one I created here. Normally, you'd need to jump through a bunch of hoops to create a new account on social media like Instagram that doesn't arouse suspicion. That means getting a new phone, using a different Wi-Fi, etc. Instead, you can create multiple Instagram accounts with multi-login and try out different AI-generated models for different niches like cosplay and travel. You could create multiple accounts for Ticketmaster, OnlyFans, Shopify, Etsy, AliExpress, etc. For example, if you want to be first in line to buy a bunch of tickets for Ariana Grande, you could use this to test how your ads appear in different countries, to create accounts for different clients, or to research pricing across 
across the globe for e-commerce arbitrage. I often buy luxury products in Germany, the USA, or elsewhere, depending on where I can get the best deal. Now, let's get into step-by-step -step instructions. First, create a multi-login account like I did here for the pro plan. Make sure you use a coupon code so you can get it half price, as I did here. Once you have an account, click the blue create button. Name your profile. I went with USA One. You can set your target site to Amazon or eBay. If these aren't your target sites, just leave it blank. Scroll down to the most important part, location. I put the United States. You can get more specific with the region and city if you want, but I'm gonna leave those blank. Scroll down to screen resolution. I often set this to real, especially if I'm using something like Disney Plus or YouTube and need full screen visibility. You can make other changes as you see fit, such as the operating system and browser. I'm just going to leave the defaults. Sometimes I set a default page like here where I use Facebook.com. That way, every time the profile starts, that page will automatically load. This is going to speed up your account management in the future. Hit create profile in the bottom right. Now that you have the new profile, hit start. Note that you'll also need to download the software for your operating system like this. If you already downloaded it, you can press connect agent. Multi-login will open a new browser like this. Now you can go wherever you want, like Facebook Ad Manager, Amazon, Disney, etc. You can create a new account in the browser or log into an existing account you already have. So multi-login basically works the same way as Chrome does. Very simple. Sometimes I get an error related to the proxy. To fix this quickly, click the three dots on the right, go to proxies, then click refresh IP. If you have any problems, just use the little chat icon on the bottom right. The support is very good. If your IP refresh fails, then it's likely that you're out of proxy traffic. You can buy more gigabytes from the billing section. To avoid suspicion, you'll want to warm up your new profiles by importing a cookie browser history. To do this, click the three dots, select cookies, and then click either pre-made cookies or import cookies. This isn't necessary if you're going to do something basic like accessing Disney+. Plus. It's also possible to warm up your profiles manually by just getting someone to engage with each profile, visiting sites like YouTube, Google, etc. You can create multiple clones of your profile by clicking the clone button. For more advanced customization, use the advanced and expert tabs when creating a new profile. Don't worry if you make a mistake because you can always edit your profiles like this by clicking the three dots feel free to experiment. The most important part is just getting started. You can invite people to collaborate by going to the team section on the left and clicking invite. Just type in your assistant's email or any contractors. You can manage people's permissions by clicking manage access. For example, I can assign this person as a manager who has access to all folders. Folders are how you organize and store your virtual profiles. For example, you might have a folder for all your eBay stores that sell clothing. Here, you can see the manager has multiple permissions, including creating virtual profiles, adding team members, etc. As you grow your team, you'll want more folders to keep things organized. For example, I created a folder for Amazon UK profiles. Go to the profile section and hit the plus sign next to folders. This lets you create a new folder. I created a profile based in the UK called Amazon UK One. I can move this to the new folder like this. So you can create teams to manage each folder like this with specific permissions. You can also issue AI driven commands in the top search bar. Type at AI and hit enter. Now that I see the little robot icon, I can type something like create a Firefox profile for France with a proxy. Multi-login supports automations with Selenium, Playwright, Postman, and Puppeteer. These are a little bit too technical for this video, but I'll briefly explain how this would work with Puppeteer. Go to nodejs.org and download node.js. Then open VS Code, run the terminal, and install Puppeteer. Then you'd enter your multi-login username, password, profile ID, and folder ID. You might use this, for example, to extract data from LinkedIn automatically to build a list of target customers. That list could then be imported into Facebook's Ad Manager or into Lemlist for automated cold emails. You can run something called a headless browser, which operates without a graphical interface. This speeds things up without draining resources to load things like images. This is gonna be key if you wish to run thousands of accounts at the same time. If you're an internet entrepreneur or marketer, 
you need to expand to multiple accounts and regions without being restricted and banned. This is critical to reaching your next stage of growth in advertising, social media marketing, e-commerce, web scraping, traffic arbitrage, automation, agency account management, and so on. It's also key to risk management. If one account gets shut down, it doesn't take your entire business with it. VPNs just don't cut it, but something like multi-login does.